Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, friends. Oh my goodness. So I was MIA last week because hubby and I took a total spur of the moment trip to the beach to get out of the smoke and get some fresh air. And let me tell you, it was absolutely amazing. Definitely, definitely much needed. So it was really, really nice. So with that being said, I'm behind on this video. <laughs> Normally this video goes up so much sooner before now. That is the unboxing of the scent and warmer of the month for September, 2021. Um, I actually used to do these unboxings, I think, like at the very beginning of when I started my channel, um, I would actually unbox these on the first of the month um, or share them on my channel on the first of the month rather than like opening them as soon as they came in. So I was just thinking about that when I was like getting ready for this video. I'm like, oh my gosh, it feels so late. I'm like I actually used to wait even longer. But anyways, I still did not open anything. I do know what the scent smells like just because of that amazing little sample that came in the whiff box for August. It's a good one, you guys. But um, I am going to go ahead and unbox the warmer here with you, as well as the bars, just to go over the scent and my my opinion of it. It's incredible, you guys. But um, with all of that being said, today's the last day of August. Way to wait till the last minute, Lisa. <laughs> but um, normally I offer pre-orders for this, but because it's basically launching now, um, I'm not offering a pre-order for this specific scent and warmer of the month. Um, I am happy to place the order for you if you would like. Just shoot me an email. My email is lmroberry at gmail.com. Always linked in the description box as well. Um, go ahead and shoot me an email. I'm happy to place the order for you if you would like. Otherwise, it will be available on my website or your consultant's website at midnight tonight. That is Pacific time. So be ready. Uh, this, this warmer is absolutely adorable. And if you have been around with Sensi for a little bit, you may remember we had a haunted house warmer before. It was actually called the Manic Mansion. It may look very, this warmer may look very similar to that, and it does, but I feel like if you have the Manic Mansion warmer, you need this one. I feel like they go so well together. It's not going to look like you have the same warmer. They look like sisters. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let me go ahead and read to you the description of this warmer. So the warmer of the month is called Haunting Good Time, and this is described from Scentsy as up for a good fright fun is lurking in the shadows of this haunted house just lift the roof to warm your favorite fragrance this is 25 watts it's 10 a, 10 and a half inches tall and it looks absolutely adorable so especially if you are a collector of all things halloween or haunted house then i feel like you need this in your collection so let's go ahead. oh this is the cutest little warmer dish ever <laughs> I don't know why I just assumed it was going to be larger. Now, what I will say, it is nice and deep. So it does still say on the bottom here, there is a little number four. So that is letting you know as far as the bar cubes, um, just don't do more than four cubes at a time when you're warming. I still recommend two, but if you wanna do more, just don't go more than four. Okay. How cute is this, you guys? So there are some differences between this warmer and the Manic Mansion warmer. Um, oh, I don't think the Manic Mansion had this little like pointy bit up here. Also, the coloring is different. I actually thought this was going to be um, all black, but it's actually not. So look at the detail on this, you guys. This is just the lid. <laughs> We haven't even gotten to the warmer yet. And then you've got this bat that you're just gonna bend out. Now they um, keep the bat bent in, obviously for packaging purposes, but um, you've got that. Now the Manic Mansion warmer did have a bat, but I believe it's on the other side. Same with, there's a little ghost that's on this. I believe it's on the other side, same with the pumpkin. So um, then there's also a few other differences that I'm gonna point out here as well. Um, that we'll talk about when I unbox the rest of this. But one thing I do also want to point out is that with the lid here, the back of it is completely open. Plus you have the windows on the sides. You do still have these air vents on the top and you have this window here. So it is going to throw fragrance just fine, even though there's a lid here in this particular situation. Okay. It's so cute, you guys. And this is definitely different from the Manic Mansion. So 
if you were worried about that, uh, it is different. Just the coloring of the warmer alone. Ooh, I love the finish on this. And then another couple of differences here. You're gonna see. Why don't I? Why don't I completely undo this here? And then normally I start with the scent. <laughs> I just realized I'm like, I just went right to the warmer. This is a 25 watt bulb. This one comes with a clear bulb. I believe Manic Mansion actually came with a green bulb if I remember correctly, but you can totally play around with the different bulbs if you want to. You can do a red or a green or a purple, whatever tickles your fancy. You can totally do whatevs. And this is a metal warmer. Metal warmers throw the scent like crazy because it just it traps all that heat into the warmer and um, distributes it up to the warmer dish. So you've got your warmer, um, your bulb in there, and then you're gonna put your dish right on top there. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. There's a little cat. There's a little black cat. So the cat is going to sit in the window. So that's gonna be some of the differences here. Um, you have the I think this is a witch. Yes, you have a witch that's standing in the doorway and you have a little cat that's sitting in the window here. So let's go ahead and plug her in and light her up. So cute, so cute. Especially if you collect haunted houses or Halloween things, then I feel like you need this in your collection. And like I said, this, totally fits perfectly even if you have the manic mansion i feel like these belong together <laughs> okay let's go ahead plug it in let me turn my lighting off so because it's metal it doesn't glow glow but what i will say i don't know if you can see but because that's a clear dish it does allow the light to come up through the top so it does look like do you see that i love the witch cut out here so cool so so cool so you've got the bat up here you've got the cat in the window you still have the ghost you still have the pumpkin but even better they just like sensi just upped the ante here with the witch and the cat in the window i think it's perfect so this is going to be available for 54 dollars us starting september 1st which mind blowing <laughs> It's tomorrow, so that will be available starting tomorrow. And I also just can't get over the finish on this house. Like I said, I thought for whatever reason, I thought it was gonna be an all black house, but I actually like the color of this. The back, there's no windows or anything like that, but it is completely open on the lid like I was showing you. Super, super cute love it so like i said so this is 25 watts and available for 54 dollars us um if this is available beyond september it will jump up that 10 percent to the regular price of 60 dollars. so don't wait on this you may as well just snag it for 10 percent off well you can why not which reminds me today is the last day of the month which means if you were interested in night sky which is the August scent of the month. That is still available now. Today is the last day to get it for 10% off, also $54. It will still be available while supplies last, but starting tomorrow, September 1st, it will jump back up to $60. So just know that. Okay, let's talk about this scent, you guys. The scent is incredible. <laughs> I can't even, and I am so excited. Do you know what kind of willpower it took for me not to rip this bag open and warm through all of the bars? Cause I've been home from the beach for a few days, but you guys, this scent. So it's called Scary Good. And also look at the packaging here. So you've got the cute little jack-o'-lanterns different pumpkin designs on here. Love, love, love. Not even kidding you, at the stroke of midnight, well, it'll be a little bit after because I've got some orders to place, <laughs> but as soon as I'm done placing my orders tonight, this is going into my club. And I'm also gonna buy like 75 bars of it. Not really 75, so 
don't get your panties in a wad. <laughs> um, but oh, it's so good, you guys. So I, and I'm still sticking to this. This to me smells like pumpkin marshmallow. You guys know how I feel about pumpkin marshmallow. This feels like pumpkin marshmallow with a cinnamon kick. So I wanted to smell them side by side. Absolutely, 100%. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. And the the little sample that I got in the whiff box, I warmed it and I love it, I love it. The performance is great. Just with that sample alone, the performance was great. I just had that one sample going in this room with my little glisten warmer here. I only had that warmer going and I could smell it outside of, the, outside of this bedroom. I, Cause I always, when I'm testing out a scent, if I only have that little like sample cup, I will usually either warm it in this room and only have that one going just so that I can get a feel for performance or my warmer that's like at the top of the stairs, just so I can get a feel for how it's actually going to perform before I get my hands on the bars. It's really good, you guys. It's really, really good. I love it. I love it. And I feel like, I mean, if you're super sensitive to cinnamon scents, then you may not like this, but I'm picky when it comes to cinnamon scents. I don't want what I like to call like an aggressive cinnamon. I like a sweet cinnamon or a bakery kind of cinnamon, but anything that's like super aggressive, I'm like, ooh, a little too much. So let me go ahead and read you the description here. So it's called Scary Good for such good reason, because this is incredible. It is scary good. I feel like this is the perfect, the perfect name for the scent. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Uh, Sensi describes this as pumpkin puree sprinkled with fresh cinnamon encounters toasted butterscotch and creamy vanilla in a spooky, yummy treat. This is in the bakery family. I agree with this description 100%. It's so good, it, but it's that like bakery cinnamon, plus you get the sweetness from the butterscotch, plus you get the sweetness and the creaminess from the vanilla. So I feel like that's it like, and then obviously the pumpkin puree, that's like sweet, sweet overload there. But um, it's just such a good balance, you guys. It's so incredible, I love this. Um, this may become my new favorite pumpkin scent, I don't know. We'll see. But the top notes on this are cinnamon sticks, ground nutmeg, and fresh clove. And I agree. I feel like I do smell all of that. Mid notes are pumpkin puree and Indonesian ginger. I do kind of feel like I get a little hint of ginger in here. It's just, it's a really nice balance of spices. And I feel like that's why the cinnamon is not so aggressive because it's more than just cinnamon sticks. You have the nutmeg, you have the ginger. So it's, you, you have the clove. So you have the different um, spices that are kind of helping each other out to make it more than just straight cinnamon. I hope that makes sense. Um, base notes, sweet butterscotch, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. All of my favorite things, <laughs> all in one bar. I love this. So, if you and I have similar tastes, if you even just remotely like pumpkin spice anything, you gotta give this a try. You, I promise this will not disappoint you. I promise. It's so good. So this is going to be available starting September 1st, tomorrow, tonight at midnight. Uh, this is going to be available in a Scentsy bar the room spray and a scent circle for 10% off during the month of September. The bar is gonna be $5 and 40 cents US, seven um, room spray will be 720 US and scent circle will be 270 US during the month of September. And these, you guys, this I am not gonna be surprised in case you're newer to Scentsy, the scent of the month and the warmer of the month are typically while supplies last. So, don't come crying to me when this sells out. I have a feeling. Now, do I think the scent is gonna sell out in like five minutes? No, I don't. But I would not be surprised if like midway through the month, we're sold out of the bars. So with that being said, add it to your club. If you're not interested in setting up a club, by the way, if you are newer to Scentsy or newer to my channel, hello and welcome. You'll hear me talk about Scentsy Club all the time because it's the most amazing program. It is um, a subscription service that Scentsy offers for all of our consumable products. So you can get your favorite consumable products on an auto ship basis every one, two or three months. There's all kinds of perks. My favorite perk is always get my bar. So even though this scary good bar, <laughs> I love the name of this scent. Um, even though the Scary Good Bar is only available while supplies last, um, if this winds up, well, not if, 
when because this will discontinue at some point so when this does discontinue when it does retire I'm still gonna be getting it so Scentsy will continue to make this bar for me for as long as it's in my Scentsy club so I love that for me so ah, I love it so get your hands on this bar get your hands on this warmer because I think both are gonna be super super popular so like I said, because we're basically <laughs> the 11th hour here, um, I'm no longer taking pre-orders, but if you would like me to place your order for you, I'm happy to do that for you. So just let me know. I'm just gonna be over here in the corner with my nose in all of the scary good bars. <laughs> it's, they, Sensi is just knocking it out of the park with these scents of the month, you guys. I was gonna say this is like my favorite, but Arctic Kiss was my favorite. Pink Sugarberry Mint was my favorite. This is another favorite. I'm glad I don't have to just have one. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, I apologize that this this video came so late. I typically like to do this as soon as my my kit arrives. The kit will usually arrive usually around like the 18th to the 20th of the month and so I can share it with you early offer pre-orders things like that but this was just kind of a weird month and a super spur of the moment trip which was super amazing so um, I do apologize that this is coming to you late but better late than never right so thank you guys so much if you've had a chance to sniff out this scent let me know your thoughts is it a new favorite for you because it's definitely pretty high on my list for sure so I hope you guys have a really, really amazing day. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Uh, if you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. If you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.